Hello everyone, welcome to a Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Well, I spent the last hour or so uh, transferring Azola from the producing pits to the non-producing ones. I actually took a few scoops out of this very last pit here. Uh, I'm going to remove those tea bags and just put the 14, 14, 14 in it. Um, that pit there has a double problem. It doesn't have any shade at all and uh, the carabao dung just isn't that good of a fertilizer. I can tell by the difference in the color of the azola that it's not particularly happy. So it needs shade and a regular fertilizer. I drug this, I drug the hose over here from the well pump and went to start the well pump and we're out of gas so I'm gonna go into town and get some gas. That pit also is very hot. The reason I was going to put water in it is that uh, it's hot. It doesn't have any shade. The water temperature is, I don't know, 90 degrees Fahrenheit. It's too hot. I harvested from this pit, this pit, and this one. And you can see this middle one doesn't even really look like it was harvested from. But I took like 12 scoops out of it. And, I don't know, 6 or 8 from that one. And only a couple from this one. The straight urea, it doesn't work that well. Uh, urea is uh, nitrogen. It's just not, uh, nah. Straight urea, it doesn't like it. So I'm going to fire up the uh, the pump and get get another couple inches of water in that last pit <coughs> and uh, start <coughs> excuse me start flushing these pits out. Now this is one pit that I put a zola into. I think I put about 15 scoops in this one. It covered about half of the area in it. So this pit should be filled up tomorrow. I put about 10 scoops in this one. And it's probably filled it a third of the way. So maybe day after tomorrow it'll be full. So tomorrow I'm going to keep going along here keep filling these pits up hopefully by next Friday they'll all be going that's the plan anyway thank you everyone please like comment share and subscribe